AI video tools are everywhere right now, but most of them either cost too much or can't keep your characters consistent. That's why Halo AI stands out. It's free to try, and it can turn a single photo or even just one line of text into a smooth cinematic clip. In this video, I'll take you inside the platform. We'll explore tablets, create clips from text and images with camera moves, and I'll show you how to stretch those free credits as far as possible. Welcome to AI Chief, I'm Lin Kunza. On this channel, I break down the latest AI tools so you don't waste hours figuring them out yourself. And if you want weekly tips, fresh prompts, and step-by-step -step tutorials like this one, join the free AI Chief newsletter. The link is in the description. All right, let's start right from the dashboard. Step one, dashboard and free credits. First, I will walk you through the Halo AI interface so that you can understand every feature this tool offers. When you first sign up and land on the Halo AI dashboard, you will see this screen. On the left side, you'll find the main navigation bar. It starts with Explore, where you can scroll through trending videos and dive into ready-made, reusable templates with just a click. Under the Explore, you can see there is an option called Video, which is the core of this AI tool. Here you will find everything that is required for a cinematic video. The spot where you actually bring ideas to life. You can write a prompt, upload a photo, or use a subject reference if you want your character to stay consistent across scenes. Then comes the image feature, which is designed for creating static images with AI. Well, I would say it's a powerful feature if you need photos or reference material before turning them into videos. Under that, you'll find assets, where all the files you've uploaded are stored, and gallery, which is your personal library of every video or image you've generated so far. And finally, at the bottom, there's Agent Beta, a chat-style assistant that helps you create by describing ideas in plain language. In the top right corner, you'll see your credit balance. As a new user, you'll get 100 bonus credits that last for three days. Each video uses between 25 and 80 credits, depending on the model and length. So during your trial, you'll have enough to test a few features and see what Halo can really do before committing to a plan. Step 2. Explore Section and Templates So far, we've covered the main features of Hilo AI. But credits don't mean much unless you actually use them, so let's put them to work in Site Explorer. This is where you'll find ready-made templates and their prompts that you can instantly recreate. Here, you can see, when I hover my cursor on any of these templates, it shows me various options. Click Use Template, and it will redirect you to the chat where you can upload your image. Now, we have to wait for a few seconds, and our video is ready. Templates are handy for a quick start, but if you want to create something completely your own, that's where the text-to-video feature comes in. Step 3. Text-to-video example. Alright, let's try making a video directly from text. I'll head over to text-to-video. I typed in this prompt to get a cinematic sunrise shot with smooth camera movement. If you don't want to start from scratch, you can also open the preset library, which has ready-made prompts for different moods and styles. Then, there's camera control, you can let the AI pick, or choose your own pans, zooms, or circling shots to add motion. The prompt refinement toggle is handy too. This means Halo will polish your wording. Off means it follows your text exactly, which is better if you're using a reference image. Then, you can pick the model. For this one, I'll choose Halo O2, the newest model. It gives sharper detail and really clean results. Once everything's set, I'll hit generate and wait a few seconds, and there it is, a smooth cinematic clip built straight from that text prompt. We've seen what text can do, but what if you want to bring your favorite picture to life? That's where image to video comes in. Step four, image to video plus camera presets. Watch me bring this static photo to life with the Halo AI image to video feature. At the top, I'll upload my image. This is the base that the video will animate from. 
There's also the option to add a start and end image if I wanted to transition between two shots. In the box below, I can type a short prompt to guide the camera motion, for example. And if you don't feel like writing a prompt, you can just use the camera control library. It's packed with presets that instantly add smooth, cinematic moves. Down here, I'll select the model. I'll go with Halo 2 for sharper detail, then set the resolution and clip length. By default, it's 768p and 6 seconds. I can also pick how many versions to generate, and the credit cost is shown right next to it. Once I click Generate, it only takes a few seconds, and my static image is animated into a smooth cinematic video. Here's a little tip. If I add a prompt with style instructions, like cartoon look with bright colors, Haluo gives the video an animated feel. For example, I upload this sketch and add the prompt to bring it to life. Hand-drawn animation of this character, cartoon style with bright colors, smooth motion, cinematic lighting. In just a few seconds, the static image comes to life as an animated clip. Step 5. Subject Reference Photos are great, but what if you want the same person to show up in every scene? This is the feature you need. Let's see how to make a character consistent on Halo AI using the Subject Reference tab. Here, I'll upload a reference image of my character. This locks in their look, so every time I generate a new video, they'll appear consistent, even if I change the setting or story. For example, I'll add this reference character, then type a new prompt like the same person walking through a neon-lit cyberpunk street at night. Even though the environment is completely different, the character stays identical to the reference image. Down here, I can still choose the model, resolution, clip length, and how many versions to generate. And just like before, the credit cost is shown clearly before I hit generate. This way, you're not just making random clips. You're building a character that carries across different scenes and stories. Step 6. Vertical and Aspect Radios Alright, we've got our character consistent. The next question I always get is, can Haluo make TikTok-style vertical videos? The short answer is yes, but here's how it works in Haluo right now. First, if you upload a vertical photo into image to video, Haluo keeps that shape when it animates. So if you already have a vertical photo, like the tall 9x16 format, that's the simplest way to get a vertical clip. Secondly, some templates in the Explore section are already designed in vertical format. Just click Use Template, swap in your photo, and you'll get a ready-to-share real-style video. And lastly, you can start in the Image tab. There's a ratio drop-down where you can choose 9x16 before you generate your static photo. Then, bring that image into the Image to Video section and it stays vertical from start to finish. You've got the visuals down, but what about the audio? Let me show you how to create songs with Halu AI and how to add voice in just a few clicks. Step 7. Add voice and music. When you hit the audio button in Haluo, it opens up Minimax Audio in a new tab. That's where the sound tools live. If you want narration, just paste in your script, choose a voice you like, and click Generate. The voice comes out clear and natural, ready to drop straight into your video. And if you'd rather add background music, you can type a short description, something like gentle piano with a cinematic feel, and it'll build a custom track for you. Once it's ready, just download the audio file and layer it under your clip. That way, your video doesn't just look cinematic, it sounds cinematic too. And that's how you can create cinematic AI videos with Haluo, from templates, text props, and image animations, to keeping characters consistent, making vertical reels, and even adding custom voices or songs. It's free to try, so you've got credits to experiment with before deciding if it's right for you. If you found this helpful, hit like and subscribe to AI Chief so you don't miss the next tutorial. 
and for weekly AI updates, fresh prompts, and tutorials, join the free AI Chief newsletter to get everything right in your inbox. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.